me Kelvy. now today's video i'm going to give five tips on how you can get better at rainbow six siege now this isn't going to include getting a five stack and stuff like this this is how you can improve as a player as yourself and how you can get better so now the first one is don't blame your team now what i mean by this this is, doesn't mean five stack this is what i mean is don't be like oh okay i died because um ayana wasn't watching me you know what i mean think okay i like think on what you could have done so you could not have died and then use that intel so if, say for example right you're coming from armory and you just sprint back into into dorms right you sprint back into dorms now this is a high traffic area a lot of people are especially when they're in the top side a lot of people attackers are going to be come from master open up closet and this is just a high traffic area so what you want to do if you're coming from armory is you want to just be aiming basically multiple times i've seen people sprinting around they just did a sprint through this and then they can just easily get picked off again it literally just takes one headshot and you're dead sprinting through this when they're probably going to be aiming at this door anyway you're just going to get killed so what you want to be doing is literally just you want to be aiming you want to always be aiming especially as a defender you want to always be aiming where they could be so if you see for example when i come around this corner i'll be aiming at the closet then aiming at the door then aiming at the bed you know what i mean i'll be slowly checking where they could be for example like that i, I you'll never see me just sprint like this unless unless it's like last person then yeah if it's 5v5 I'm, i don't know where they are so i'll be aiming basically but if it's 5v5 and my team say oh he's on dorm's window i know that he's gonna be on dorm's window i'm free to just run through you know what i mean just when you die think what you could have done what you could have done to prevent you dying so my next tip is prepping now what i mean by prepping is there's multiple things so as a defender make sure you're using doing rotates for example if a smoke or mute i'm gonna have a shotgun on so i'm gonna be doing rotates if you're warden legion azami solace dark stuff like that your main job is going to be reinforcing because everyone else for example let's go mute he's got mute jammers placed down jaeger he's got his uh ads's to put down you know what i mean everyone that has like a time on their ability that's their job is to is to reinforce so instead of going on tiktok or just running around doing nothing to actually reinforce the main walls that you actually need to do to help your team out because a mute a castle stuff like that you're gonna have to run around and actually use their abilities you know what i mean and for prepping an attack uh i recommend is to stop wasting drones now what i mean by wasting drones is by just going into site and then trying to place it into somewhere to site now let's just go with uh, oregon for example if i know the top i'm going to put a drone up in armory because if i want to do a push through armory through the window i'm going to put a drone somewhere in here most likely on top of there or on top of that and then i go on my cam no no one's in armory and then i'll drone through here into trophy and then uh, no one's there then i'll drop into armory etc you know what i mean and then again i'll jump on my drone so instead of just wasting your drone put it into site put your drone somewhere where it could be useful from where you're pushing from so for example when i'm doing an attic push i do a attic push a lot of times on attack we have a mav and a grid i'll always have a cam on this box here this box or on there because then i just know i can just jump on my cam easily get through right so my next tip is everyone does bad now what i mean by this is not everyone has good games everyone has bad games everyone does bad every now and then okay so don't be too hard on yourself when you do bad like uh, everyone has bad games it's as simple as that don't be too hard on yourself your aim could not be that good uh literally the other day uh, me and alpha had a 10 win loss uh, streak and then yesterday and today not no yesterday and the day before has just not been the best for me anyway so i've been playing a lot of montaigne on attack because i've just not been doing that well my aim has just not been that good it's just you, everyone does bad everyone has bad games everyone has amazing games so don't be too hard on yourself when you do it bad at the end of the day it is just a game and you're there to have fun if you're having fun that is the biggest thing really at the end of the day it is just rp it's just a, a, a digital rank doesn't actually mean anything so don't be too hard on yourself when you do lose gunfights just if something is kind of bullshit and you should have won that then yeah i understand but don't be too hard on yourself everyone has bad games everyone has good games so don't be too hard on yourself when you lose or when you die or something like that 
Number four is learn the maps. Now, what I mean by learn the maps is that there's so many people that just don't know the maps. Now, this includes myself because I don't know Emerald Plains too well, and I'm not really wanting to learn Emerald Plains because personally, I just don't like the map anyway. But learn the maps. Now, what you could do is literally learn Emerald Plains because not many people know Emerald Plains. Learn Emerald Plains, and then if your five stack knows how to play Emerald Plains, then easy. But what I mean by uh, learn the maps as well is learn how to push. Now, a very simple push that I do on this map is I simply go as Mav and then basically I'll go as Mav, whatever gridlock. Gridlock will come tower. This is if they're in dorms, by the way. If you'll gridlock down here, I'll, I'll go in through the window. And then what we'll do is gridlock will go prone on the stairs. I'll mouth open this and then she gets a like normally gets a free pick she normally gets two or two kills at least so it's a very simple push that we both do and it works a lot of the time so learn how you learn the maps learn how to attack learn how to defend learn what you should be doing learn how to basically just learn the maps like it's basically like a college course at this point and like you're learning on how you can actually play certain maps so obviously each map is different with attacking and defending like that map strat for example i'm not going to do that downstairs i'm not going to do this in boiler room am i because it's just not going to be as useful learn the maps learn how to properly set up site good way to do this is watching pro players and pro league because obviously they're pros for a reason learn how they set up site uh, etc so number five is warming up now now that free for all is now in the game warming up is a lot more better so normally what i do is I'll run the shooting range and just make sure my flicks are good and I'm like you know flicking quite well and then I'll do it a free throw and what I will try and do is try and get 30 kills in three games in a row now when I do that I'm like right okay I know my aim's good because 30 kills basically winning three games in a row it's just like okay my aim is on point you know what I mean um warming up as well you couldn't do t hunts as well as like your first one then free throw but i'll recommend free throw as it is well you that's playing and you have to win and you're against actual players and not ai and yeah so that's just a way on how i warm up i'll go into the shooting range have three bots as actual uh, humans as like you know the actual like decoy type like humans type things and then i'll do it so it's random position and random from like standing pro and crouch i have it but them as random three free ai and then yeah i can just flick because obviously the people are going to be prone they're going to be crouch etc going to be in random positions and yeah it just makes it so it's better trying to flick at his uh so the shooting range is really good and i'm really glad that they added that because for console players it is just insane so yeah if you did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe it would be very much appreciated and I also do stream on Twitch and have a Discord, which is going to be in the description down below. Uh, the Discord, uh, I stream on there. And if I am live, I normally play with viewers as well, if you're on Xbox anyway, so we can have communication. But yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.